How it's made, Rolex watches. Everyone watching this video on how it's made has at least wondered what it is about Rolex that makes it so unique to any other watch brand. As we all know by now, Rolex is a private and independently running entity, unlike most other companies. It really is a rare occurrence that Rolex even allows any stranger into its hallowed halls. But we bring you authentic information from the manufacturing locations and let you in on our first-hand experiences to know more about how Rolex makes their famous watches. Rolex has built its own universe with a personalized set of laboratories and whatnot. Their keen and detailed attitude towards manufacturing some of the best timepieces since 1905 has earned them respect, admiration, value and reputation from across the globe. This video is going to be about all the things that you need to know about Rolex watches. Before we get into the best section of the video, if you are a first time viewer of the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button and also the notification bell. What makes Rolex's timepieces unique with respect to the metals used in the body? Many of you are already accustomed to the fact that the manufacturer uses a kind of steel that is unique to Rolex. As we all know, steel comes in various types and degrees and most watch manufacturers make use of a type of stainless steel known as the 316L. Currently, all the steel that is used for Rolex watches is of the 904L steel type. So, what makes it special? While many brands continue to use the 316L type, Rolex had already launched watches made of 904L steel for the first time in 1988 with a few versions of the Sea Dweller. Apart from being more rust and corrosion resistant as well as somewhat harder than other steels, what really makes these watches unique is the ability to take and hold polishes very well. If you have ever wondered why the body of a Rolex watch looks so unique as many of us have done, it is very much owed to how Rolex has learned and emulated this process to perfection. Rolex has its own research intensive science labs. Knowing how far Rolex has come over the decades maintaining or bettering their quality with every passing year, it should not be surprising that they have their own personalized research laboratories. Rolex has in fact not one, but a number of different and well-equipped science labs working continuously at the various facilities. The purpose of investing so much time and money in these labs isn't just for futile reasons, such as to research new watches or things that may go better into watches, but also to research various avenues that can make the manufacturing process more effective and efficient. They have personalized chemistry labs. When asked, Rolex stated that the lab is devoted to the development and research processes for oils as well as lubricants that can be used in the timepieces during the manufacturing process. The lab rooms are equipped with multiple electron microscopes as well as a few gas spectrometers. With the help of these devices, the researchers are able to have an extremely close look at the metals and other materials in order to investigate the process of machining and manufacturing techniques. These large areas that are dedicated to only research are very impressive. They are used purposefully on a regular basis to prevent, repair or remedy possible problems. One of the best things about their labs is the stress test room. This is the room where in different aspects of the final product like watch movements as well as cases go through a process of simulated wear and abuse with the aid of custom made machines and robots. Timepieces and movements are always hand assembled and tested multiple times. One of the common myths about the watch manufacturer is that machines are programmed to develop the watches. The reason behind the said rumor that has become so pervasive is due to the fact that traditionally Rolex did not respond or comment much on the matter. However, the fact of the matter is that Rolex watches enjoy the warmth of hands-on human attention. However, it is important to note that the company does use machines. In fact, it currently possesses high-end, in-vogue watchmaking machinery. Some of the key tasks accomplished by the semi-automated machinery include filing, sorting, cataloging and applying the right pressure to fix pins and align microparts. In addition to this, they carry out ultra-delicate procedures such as the type of care you want a machine to execute, beginning from Rolex movements to bracelets are congregated by hand. It is definitely an understatement to say that Rolex is crazy in terms of quality control. A key theme involved with the manufacturing process is checking and checking over and over again. It almost feels as if their ultimate aim is ensuring that if a Rolex watch turns out to be defective or broken, it happens long before it is launched and enters the market. Massive expert teams of both watchmakers as well as assembly people collaborate to work on every one of these beautiful watches that Rolex manages to produce. This happens on a two-fold system. What we mean by this is that the said process is repeated once before and once after the watch movements are dispatched off to COSC for the chronometer certification. Rolex is the complete package when it comes to making their own gold. Not many of you know this, but guess what? Rolex likes and does make their own gold. While Rolex depends very little on outside suppliers, they do have very few suppliers that have the responsibility of sending them steel. However, this is not the case for gold and platinum which are made in-house. Once the 24K gold is received by the Rolex facilities, they have the appropriate equipment and machinery to transform it into 18K yellow, white or the non-fading variety of the same 18K rose gold commonly known as the Rolex's Ever Rose Gold. 
As far as we can tell, it is the only watchmaker that has the facility as well as their own real foundry to make gold. Large kilns, which are basically thermally insulated chambers, are used under hot flames in order to facilitate the melting as well as mixing of the desired metals. Furthermore, these combinations are then turned into specific designs in various cases and bracelets. Rulex is the complete package that brings with itself great control on both levels that is a big deal for all manufacturing companies, that is, production and machining of their raw materials. Because of this intrinsic feature that Rulex continues to enjoy till today, they have gained the ability to control not just quality, but definitely for best looks and designs. Who is the best friend of a watchmaker? Technology. If you want us to outline and lay bare the philosophy of how Rolex works, it is quite plain and simple. Their approach is something that we would define as pragmatic. They clearly understand how and where a skilled human hand and a program machine hand fall short. Now, isn't that pretty simple? But to truly appreciate what Rolex brings to the table is to be able to understand the reasons behind why other watch manufacturers do not indulge themselves with machines. So, we have figured out the reason for our valuable viewers. First of all, these semi-autonomous machines are undoubtedly huge investments and more often than not, keeping an expert team around to execute and use these machines is just as expensive. Secondly, the other watch manufacturers simply do not have the same production demands as Rolex. It is due to this fact that Rolex is lucky to have the capacity to facilitate its production and manufacturing lines with all the robotic help that it needs. The epicenter of the company's automation mastery is none other than the master supply room. There are specialized robotic servants that are programmed to pay attention to the massive columns of parts. Their only duty is to store as well as retrieve trays with specific parts or complete watches. The code for the job at hand is fed into the programming of these robots. If you are wondering how it is accomplished, here is how. A watchmaker that is currently needing certain parts to build a watch, or in need of a particular watch to recheck, must simply do the following. Place an order with particular codes to the system. The thing ordered will be reaching the watchmaker on a series of conveyor systems to them in just a few minutes. These robotic arms are available in abundance at the various Rolex manufacturing facilities and locations. These are the locations wherein a highly redundant or repetitive task or even highly detailed processes that require optimized consistency are accomplished. Most of the Rolex parts are applied with an initial machine polish with the help of a robot, but the polishing does not end there. The same timepieces are amazingly hand finished as well as polished later on. Before we conclude this video, we just want to put it out there that it is almost a wonder that you just want to sit back and reflect on all that Rolex is and currently do. It is almost impossible to comprehend for us and we're sure that most of our viewers will totally agree. It is definitely hard to imagine that, at the end of the day, they just design and make watches. Even so, if they do just make watches, it is happening in a totally different degree of things. Their timepieces have taken a place on a pedestal that is simply beyond that of mere timekeepers. The reason behind the famous phrase, a Rolex is a Rolex, is because they are just pretty damn good at what they do. So, what do you think about Rolex watches? We urge you to write to us and comment below if you have any heads up or even a suggestion. Kindly like this video to support us and we hope to bring you more informative videos in the future.